G'day, it's Oscar here from Drones for Hire. Today we're going to, going to do a quick walkthrough on calibrating your spreader. There's a couple of tricks. The first one is how you set up before you start the calibration. You need room underneath the drone to get a bucket or some form of container underneath. You don't need it to have it this high or elaborate. You can just use a couple of bricks and a smaller catchment that you can slide in under. The other trick is to take off the spinner. If you leave the spinner on, you're going to get product spread everywhere. To take off the spinner is a really easy process. You're going to reach in under the drone and you're going to pull out a pin. There's that pin there. You're then going to undo this wing nut. Now the wing nut is reverse thread. When you first undo the wing nut, it has a bit of Loctite on it. So you may need pliers just to start it. Be gentle. Now this process is a lot easier to do if you do it before you've put the spreader into the drone. You're going to remove a small washer and then off comes the spreading disc. Just put them to one side for now. We've already put some products into the spreader today. So now all we need to do is run the calibration. So on the remote, you're going to go in to begin. You're going to move to the settings in the top right hand corner. Scroll down to the spreading system settings. Before you begin, when your tank is empty, you want to tear your calibration. We've already done a tear of calibration today. It's a very easy process in the remote. Just click tear calibration, click yes, yes, and away you go. You're then going to go back up to material management. Click on that. You can see here on the remote that we've got three matrix already in there. We're going to add a new one in the top left. We're going to select our hopper size and we're going to stick hit start calibration. That's the calibration process starting now. Now you'll see that the flow rate will increase in grades over time and the T Ford is creating a graph which represents how fast the product's moving out depending on the opening of the gate. DJI recommends that you fill the hopper right up. We found for most applications you don't need to completely fill it up. This one will actually stop halfway through and we'll show you how you can just take the product that's already gone through, put it back in the top and keep going. Saves you putting in too much material at once. Okay, so the remote's just given me a, an indication that the payload's getting too low. So now all we're going to do is just take what's been taken through the drone and put it back in the top. Fairly easy process. Make sure that you don't quit out of the calibration so the spinner will keep spinning. Add your product back in. Return your container and then press OK. Then you're going to press resume and it'll continue going. For these heavier materials, it does tend to require more product in. The lighter materials don't require as much. There's our calibration finished now. We're going to name this material. Click save. And now you can see on the remote that we've got a new material added, start of 15 in the top left hand corner. So that's it, how we calibrate the spreader on the T40. Very easy process, follow the prompts and just make sure you get your setup in a nice stable position and you've got that bucket underneath with the spinner off. Remember that at Drones for Hire, we're a DJI authorized agricultural dealer. We have a team of farmers, contractors, and drone experts ready to help you. And part of our service is we provide a setup day when you buy a, an agricultural drone. 
we come out, we show you how to use it, and we show you how to use it in your specific applications. Thanks for watching.